Uh, done an incredible job for uh, for his team, staying along with an established batsman. There it is. Bit of coaching there from uh, Wasim Akram uh, Bretley. How to get the ball to reverse. Australia uh, are 127 for two. Well, there you are, uh, showing uh, which side of the ball to shine, whatever. I think uh, Bretley will learn a fair bit from Wasim Akram. Well, he should do, especially bowling on these wickets. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's what he'd be asking him about, you know, what to do. Mitchell Johnson has just moved in now. Now, he's a, he's a bit of a similar bowling style to Wasim. That's him on the far left. He's a left-hand fast bowler for Queensland. He can swing the ball at the natural swing, but I, I suppose he's just listening in there on what to do with the reverse swing. But I tell you what, if we want to be reminding him is to bowl Yorkers as well with the reverse swing. Yes, when Wasim and Wakar bowled those Yorkers, they were a lethal combination. They had everything, but really their Yorkers, the reverse swinging Yorkers were lethal. Well, it's hard enough to hit a Yorker that goes straight, let alone one that ducks in very quickly, like about a foot in the air sometimes, which they did do. But I, I mean, it, it's, it's easy to say sometimes, and it, to tell somebody else, but... at it uh, Wasim Akram yeah, he's got very keen listeners in uh, Bretley and uh, Mitchell Johnson do the Australians ever come and uh, talk to you uh, Tomo uh, well not about swing bowling they wouldn't do <laughs> no not really uh, I have uh, I have spoken to uh, different guys different times over the years but I'm, I'm just a little amazed that um, Nathan Bracken isn't out there. You know, they, all the bowlers should be out there listening to somebody like uh, was him. He's got so many wickets and done so well on the on the continent. Just to learn a few tricks. I mean, even if you just learn one thing, it's a bonus, isn't it? Well, that, that's exactly right. I mean, uh, you, you just explain to him. I mean, all your experience is what has happened. I mean, uh, I haven't played here much. I played in Pakistan when I was younger. But it's a quick learning curve, you know, you just realise what's got to be done. And you just pass on any little tricks that, that, that you've learned along the way. And, and like I said, was it Mac Graham? You can imagine how many tricks he's learned over here. Yes, I think it was interesting a little earlier on when uh, he was uh, showing a different sort of a grip. Oh, Harry! Well, Jason Gillespie getting just a little impatient, perhaps, uh, perhaps getting a little tired of his uh, night watchman's uh, job. The biggest thing about was him too. Forget about the reverse swing, you know, with the old ball. Yo, watch it. Uh, 127 for two. Was it? Forget about the uh, reverse swing on the old ball with him at the moment. But when he first started playing. He was such a good exponent of the new ball. He used to swing a miles and bowl around the wicket and bowl these big hooping in swingers and all that. I mean, you don't often see bowlers swing the ball these days, Sonny, and that, that's something that's gone out of the game. And it's all technique, it's all wrist, it's just delivery on, on how you swing the ball. I, I know I'm not, I wasn't a swing bowler, but I didn't try to. But in my older age, I could swing it because of technique of wrist. See, that's what he's telling them there. Exactly, it. and there's not a great deal of swing bowlers in the world at the moment. And they could do a lot of good for cricket to get some of the, uh, the older swing exponents and explain a few things to these test players. You're absolutely right. Not too many swing bowlers around. Well, there he is, uh, hiding with his uh, right hand. And then uh, the Yorker. This is the, the swinging Yorker. Well, I don't think that swung, swung so much, but it was disguising the... He, what he's showing is disguise the way it swings because it's, it's more obvious with an old ball because one shines, side is red and the other one's sort of pink because it's so raw. Yes, 
you know, I mean, you don't really see too many swing bowlers uh, nowadays. There's Irfan Patan who swings it very well. And he's also learned a heck of a lot from uh, Wasim Akram. And he still keeps going to Wasim Akram, which is, which is such a heartening thing because, you know, he, he's young, he knows he's got, a, he's got a long way to go. Still picking Wasim Akram's brains whenever he can.